Hi, this is Dr. Miglani, and a lot of you have asked, what is this myopia care center? So let's go inside and I'm going to tell you what we do in there um, and share some tips uh, for our viewers today. Come on in. Okay, so this is the myopia care center and here, I like to conduct some um, educational seminars and we learn here. Today I want to share some tips with you uh, about uh, myopia care and nearsightedness. This is what that this room is all about. Um, in fact, just one day ago, yesterday, um, we um, had Good Morning America feature this segment and I want you guys to watch this what it really says is that myopia number one myopia is on the rise number two um, what we can do about it what are the factors contributing to myopia um, one of them is screen time second is outdoor time spent in outdoor life what they're saying um, the researchers are saying is that um, kids nowadays are so involved in their devices that it keeps them away from being outdoors and it's something about the outdoor light and outdoor this time spent outdoors is what helps control myopia because myopia is on the rise so this video actually explains a lot of it so please watch it with me the number of children with vision problems is on the rise and eye doctors are concerned that more children are needing glasses at younger ages Don Macedo is back and I believe that screens are at least partially to blame for this. That's right. They say the number of kids who are nearsighted has more than doubled. And now doctors are saying it's not just about screen time, but also sun time. At just five years old, little Reed McKay's eyesight started going downhill. He had had quite a change in his prescription at that point. I thought, well, this isn't a great sign. Reed is part of a disturbing trend. In the past decade, doctors have seen a steep increase in the... So, um, as I said before, myopia is on the rise. In fact, in the 1970s, myopic, myopic kids um, were, it was about 20% of the population was a myopic. Now it's double, it's about 40%, which is huge. And by 2050, half of the world population is going to be nearsighted. So it's a disturbing trend um, because it has other risk factors, uh, which is glaucoma, macular degeneration, retinal detachments, and so on. So, so what does it mean for you as a parent of a, of a child who has myopia? One is that uh, myopia is not benign. It has to do with elongation of the eyeball, and that elongation of the eyeball um, carries risk factors with it, which is cataract, macular degeneration, and retinal detachments. So we want to prevent that later on for our kids, um, and what we do now makes a difference children who need corrective lenses. In the early 1970s, roughly 20% of children were nearsighted or had trouble seeing far away. Today, that number has more than doubled to 42%. Dr. Katherine Schett says for optometrists around the country, it's an alarming mystery. Nearsightedness isn't just uh, an annoyance. That there's a higher risk of cataract formation uh, and glaucoma. So those are things that are big deals and potentially gonna affect the vision long term. But they do have some ideas. Excessive screen time could be a culprit. And there's so, also lack of Again, we all, we all are saying the same thing. So if you notice that your kid's prescription is jumping every year, please don't just sit on it. You have to address it, do something about it. There are different techniques out there. One of them is eye drops, which is very easy and simple. The child can continue to wear their regular glasses and do eye drops at bedtime that has clinically been proven to slow down progression. Number two is orthokeratology lenses. It's been around for uh, two to three decades um, and they're FDA approved to be safe for kids. Um, they slow down progression of myopia and there are soft contact lenses. One of them um, of which is approved by the FDA just last month. So even the FDA is jumping on this and addressing the big problem that is myopia. I hope that's helped you. I hope, um, you know, we're welcome. We're, you're welcome here 
any time to ask me questions, call me, email us. Um, I'm here to, um, you know, serve you and your kids. Have a great day.